Ah. Hello and we're back. Welcome to the Hypertrophy Odyssey chapter 71. It is the second day of the week, aka the Quadzilla workout. I am looking forward to it. My legs feel great. I had a little bit of a gastrointestinal issue before going to the gym, but I'm feeling great now, so I don't have to worry about it until then. But anyways, so today I'm rocking the Nationals 2019 championship hat. This will probably be the staple hat that I use during the summer because it's getting hot. It's like about to be 70 as soon as I get out of here. Like the sweater is already starting to get to that point where it's unnecessary. I brought the regular hat too, but I was starting to get hot. So I'm like, oh, okay. And this is going to be one of the two hats you'll probably see regularly. But anyway, I, I don't normally wear hats. I'll tell you that right now during the summer. I like it to be bald and shiny, but I want a place to put the mic that isn't right here because my beard gets in the way. So I'd rather just put it on the side of my head. But anyway, so today... It is the Quadzilla. I'm looking forward to that. I'm feeling good. Legs are feeling great. I'm feeling a little tired. Today we will be talking about it is time for me to discuss. I was going to wait a little bit to do this episode, but I guess I should probably do it. I think at this point I've had enough time doing it, but it is the, as you've probably read the title and seen the thumbnail, is the meditation video. So I have been meditating for about approximately, I think when this video comes out, it'll have been at least 395 days in a row, at least, before I started any recommendations. I would say I have done it for even longer, technically. I remember I missed a day before I reached a full year, so I am over two years plus now in doing it, in a row almost. I had my streak broken one day, which I will never forget, which was one of my finals for, my, what is it, when Web design class I was doing or one of my programming class I think it was my final programming advanced programming two class I remember I had a project due and it took me literally all day and I for just completely forgot to do it I finished it at like midnight I didn't shower until like 12 30 so it was like an all-day thing and that was the one day I did not meditate it broke my streak at like I think like 290 days before that so yeah that fucking sucked so that I had to restart the streak all over again so but now I've surpassed it. I've gone beyond it. So in essence, two plus years of meditation with the exception of one day here, even if it's small or short times, it's still get it done. I, I want to recommend a lot of stuff, but, but personally, I have found that it has helped a lot in a lot concentration and relaxation, being able to focus just on one thing or another, let the thoughts come in and out of your brain, let your mind go where it needs to go. And then you can figure out stuff from there. Uh, there have been times where like, you know, I've been meditating and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh yeah, I remember I need to do X, Y, or Z, quickly write it down and then go back into it because there are some things that you just don't, you just completely forget about. But like having a clear brain like that can really help out a lot. I don't do it for long, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a long thing or a long time dedication thing. Depends on what's happening during the day, obviously. You know, if it's like a vacation style, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not going to sit there for 20 minutes meditating while on a vacation, you know what I mean? So it all just depends. But even then, it's still like, even as minimal as five minutes after a while, you'll be that is enough to get what you need from it you know so i would recommend it basically everybody i would recommend it to everybody to at least try it although not everybody might get the same th benefits from it it does take a while for the benefits to compound so then that way you can get through it and stuff more if that makes any sense but like it does take a while for it to to compound and it's not like something that like the first like month maybe or so that you do it you're gonna just kind of be like all right this is weird or you're gonna fall asleep that occasionally happens you know, it all just depends. I personally use, what do I use? What is it? I use Insight Timer just as a timer. So then that way I have it tracked as well as and there's a nice little bell that rings after when I'm done. So then that way, you know, just in case if I'm asleep or something like that, because that has happened a couple of times. There's just times where I'm just so fucking tired that I just fall asleep, which is not great, obviously, but also it does just happen. Like, you know, there's, there's something you kind of have to be open to, you know. But generally speaking, I would recommend it for most people to at least try it out. Like I said, it is something where it's like you could just do like five minutes for like not like a couple months and then see how it goes. You could add more time as time progresses. I would say don't go less than that just because it's like at that point you're just kind of not doing that much. But still, even at that five minutes, you're, you're doing something. And it's kind of nice where you just sit in a quiet room with nothing really disturbing you. I usually turn off my, my Wi-Fi on my phone. So then that way there's no like apps are notifying me or anything like that. I'll only get like phone calls 
calls or text. Only important people will call or text me. So that is fine, but I usually tend to ignore it unless it's a call, obviously, because calls are, if somebody's calling you, it's for a reason. So, you know, besides that, those two things, I kind of just leave it alone and call it. If I had a lot of people texting me or calling me, I'd probably just, or texting me particularly, I'd probably put the phone on silent or something for that little bit of time. The world can wait for like five minutes to give you a little bit of time to do that. I personally started after watching a video by Propane Fitness where it was an hour long just explaining like meditation and how like there are benefits and, and all the other jazz, which we'll get into in the voiceover. Also as well as downsides because they're weirdly kind of are because there's always an exchange. There's always an exchange no matter what. Still, I watched an hour long video where he basically just explained like there's like multiple ways to do it, which we'll probably go over to too. He took like an hour basically explaining how to do it. And uh, there were a lot of, there was a lot of information in there that was very useful. Would I watch that video again if you're trying to begin? Yeah, probably actually, because it was very informative of a lot of stuff like how to do it. But there was a little bit of trudged a little bit sometime. But the basic points I will cover in the voiceover. But with that being said, I will see you on the inside. All right, so on this day, I started off with squats. They were pretty nice, all fine. So as of the, this recording, I'm at 395 days streak so far of meditation, uh, approximately 10.5, 10,000 minutes. So I don't know, I'm gonna do the conversions probably later. And I forgot that I had, there was another streak where I actually had it keep going. So I've been meditating for 768 days total is what I've been doing. 395 have been in a row. So that was where in between I had that little break, um, the unfortunate break, but it happens. It is what it is. That really did suck. And when it happened, I really was angry, but it, is what it is. So I think, well, first I'll talk about how I do it because there's two ways of doing it, basically. The first way, which is where you just sit there and just let the thoughts come in and out of your brain and just kind of like try to clear your mind and stuff. I have tried that. I personally am not a huge fan of that one, although I think eventually I would go towards that, but it, because it's something that eventually just kind of happens naturally. But what I just do is just breathe in and then breathe out and then count those. So like one breath in and then one breath out is a one. And then you just keep doing that and you just focus on your nose really and your breathing technique of just going in and out you don't have to like hold it in or anything like that some people you can if you'd like it's not necessarily required and or is necessary per se but it is something that you can do I personally do but that's just me uh, you don't have to I just focus on the counting of the breaths until until the bell rings and then I, I just out of it that's how I do it personally I would say you can try it out just you can just get like a timer on your phone even for like five minutes. It doesn't even necessarily have to be that long. First time it could be even three minutes where you just sit down in a quiet area and just do that. Like I say later, anywhere that you can sit quietly for any decent amount of time with little interruption probably works the best. Personally, I just like to sit in my room with my door closed. That's just it. That is not much else after that. But I would recommend most people try it at least. But if you try it, just give it time for it to work. It's one of those, it's like an investment almost. But when speaking about that, actually, there is something of a downside. I actually never thought about this until one day I saw it on a Twitter thread where it was talking about like a meditation. And it was just the idea that just like everything else, there's always a downside to something like this. Like even like going to the gym and stuff, maybe the downsides could be that the very, very small chance, but chance of injury happens. You know, that is something that can happen. You know, this isn't just that, but you know, there's, there's always downsides to everything, literally breathing, you know what I mean? You could breathe in the wrong thing or just stuff like that or drinking the wrong water and stuff like that. So you gotta be careful about those things regardless. It doesn't even matter. When it comes down to meditation, one of the downsides I read about it, it was the fact that the entire idea of meditating for long periods of time, particularly, you know, when we're going like three, four hours, maybe even five, six hours, you know, the all day type of people, it is something where it is used as a way in order to get closer to Nirvana in which you are getting away from your spiritual self. So the issue with that is that as you get closer and 
getting closer away from your physical body, you start to care less about things. So because of that, you might end up getting to a point where things that are should be important to you stop being important to you. Now, might this take a while and a hard, like long, hard dedication to the practice of a meditation? Yes. So that might not, that might not ever happen to anybody, honestly. But that is something to think about in a little bit of a sense that there is, oh, no matter what, there's always something going on, even if it seems all gravy. And that is something that I would say could be a problem for certain people. If you're already a super mellow person, doing something else to mellow you out even more seems like a redundant type of thing. So that might be a, somebody who might not benefit from doing or doing meditation, I should say. But I would say that most people I don't think are that mellow in their life, you know, to the point where they are just doing it and then their spirituality gets to the point where they are leaving their physical body basically behind. So that is something. But I, I do want to talk about it because that is one of the downsides. If you are getting too chill, you can become too passive of a thing, of a person. And that has, that doesn't, I wouldn't say that has happened, but you see monks and stuff like that who want to transcend the entire physical plane to reach a certain level of sp peaceful spirituality where they just kind of, I wouldn't say go numb, but they just kind of stop living. You know what I mean? They live to meditate when that's it, you know? And that's a little bit of a... I wouldn't say you have to worry about it per se, because I don't think that anybody who's been listening to this would get close to something like that. But it is something that can happen. And I wanted to just discuss that. And it found it something somewhat interesting because, uh, you know, you see the, all the benefits of everything, but you never see anything of like a, a possible downside of something like that, you know, because it does happen. It is nothing. It is something that can happen. And I, I don't want to like make it all sunshine and gravy. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to mention that. But I would recommend most people at least try it. Like I said, it's like a trial period for like one to three months per se, and then see if it, if it works for you. If it doesn't work, that's all right. You know, it is what it is. I also want to mention at the end of this set of Jefferson Curls, somebody walked in front of the camera or was about to, and I felt bad because one, I was done with my set, but two, I was going to also say they can walk by. I don't necessarily care if people walk by in front of the camera when it's happening. I, I'm not going to be that dickhead ever. So it was just kind of like, you'll see the interaction for a second. I was like, ah, oh, damn. I always feel bad when people like stop in the mid stride in order to get not in front of the camera. I'm like, just go. Like, you know, I don't care. I thought about putting like a sign up or something like, you know, like a little like piece of paper on there that says, please walk in front, you know, just because I don't care. <laughs> And we're back. Welcome to the workout debriefing. Exercises not filmed. None. Exercises skipped. Calf raises because I couldn't find mat. So I couldn't put it underneath the metal thing and I didn't want to have to dig my feet into the metal of that because they were going to fucking hurt. That and plus my left foot, it kind of hurts. So I'm going to just call it a day. Thank you very much. With that being said, that was it. That was skipped. It kind of sucked, but it is what it is. Right now I'm slightly in a rush to get home. No gastrointestinal intestinal things today. More so, I have a job interview. So we'll see how that goes. But anyways, thank you very much. So to get back on subject a little bit, meditation, pretty good. I would recommend it to most people. Not everybody will get into it. Obviously there are certain people that will get more out of it than others, but it's really one of those, you have to try it for a little while and see if it goes for you. It's not something that everybody can get into and or keep going, you know? I have a weird streak because I have it in my to-do list, but I know it that I have to do it every day. It's like, even if I don't see that list, I know that I'm doing it every day. Somebody was just yelling, what the fuck? Because anyway, I would recommend most people at least try it for a little while and see if how it goes for them. For me personally, it has been something that has been very useful for me. I would probably continue to do it for like, as long as I know basically, or have the time for it. But even then I could always make time. That's the crazy thing about it is that technically you can make time for it anywhere. I'm gonna hate saying this now, but tech, you just need a quiet place to sit. If that's the toilet, then that's the toilet. There are places where you can find five to 10 minutes by yourself without anybody interrupting you. So it is what it is. Just 
try it and figure it out. You don't have to have like a fancy app or anything or pay for anything. I use the Insight Timer. There is like a membership that you can pay for it, but it's also free. They have like the free one. You don't need the extra bonuses and the bells and whistles, literally bells, because you pay extra for certain sounds. But still, you don't necessarily need that. Maybe one day we'll do a affirmations one. I'm 50-50 on those. We'll be talking about that on a different day. But for now, I think that most of the time people should at least try it. I think a lot of people dismiss it a lot because they try it once and then they're like, oh, I fell asleep or oh, and nothing really happened or, you know, I had a bunch of thoughts all at once or just like a bunch of stuff like that. For some reason, they can't stay in the silent. You know, that is something that a lot of people get affected by. And I think there is Schopenhauer said something along the lines of the fact that the people who could stay in quieter areas or surroundings were smarter, generally speaking. I might put a quote up if I can remember it like right here or something. Yeah, I remember listening about that and it was very profound when he was talking about that. It was very interesting. But anyways, something about silence and staying with your own thoughts and nothing else coming in is very great. I'd, I'd recommend it. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to mention this real quick. This has nothing to do with meditation, but I do want to mention it. I forgot to mention my weight this morning. It was 196, so down three pounds. So a lot of water weight and some glycogen storage that I just immediately cut. So we'll see how much we lose in the next week or two. So we'll, we'll figure that out. But seven weeks left of summer. I'll probably do an account down at the end of the videos just to kind of like do like a summary, figure out where I'm going up and down. Maybe I could do a chart or something. Who fucking knows? Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I will be back on tomorrow with something new. Tell me what you think in the comments below about meditation or anything that you would like to talk about. Maybe maybe you're just sitting in silence that might you might not be able to do because that is something that some people just can't do. I'm not saying that they're dumb. I'm going to also say that, but also there are just some people who have, need the stimulus, you know, but there is something to be said about people who just, just sit with nothing going on. There's something great about that. But anyways, with that being said, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will be back on with the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.